Welcome back to the channel. So we've released a couple of videos where we're trying to learn like the tactics and rules of American football. We started off very simple with American football rules. <laughs> we stupidly did that counter one as and well. And then we went, to, we had tons and tons of suggestions come in and I just happened to pick one that I don't know if someone's taking a mic or it's a joke, but we then did a reaction to something that completely baffled us. We had no idea what was going on. Some of you lot were baffled as well. Yeah, and thankfully, within the comments, we do now understand the counter. I'm not going to be able to explain it when that happens in a game, but I do understand the premise of a counter. You kindly provided us with some maybe go back to school videos, um, you know, stay in your lane, you pair of Brits, yeah. and uh, do sound that's a bit more simplistic. So today we've got American football positions explained, offense and defense. So looking forward to this one. Yeah. Hoping it's good. I mean, I've learned a couple of the positions throughout. So I now know running back and quarterback and Linebacker, wide receiver. Glad you filled in there. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was struggling already, but I don't know if I'm making sense anymore. Let's just get into it. <laughs> American football positions. Today we're going to be teaching you about American football positions, and we're going to be looking at the offense and the defense today. But to start, we're going to look at the offense, and there's four position groups for the offense. The offensive lineman, the running backs, the wide receivers, and the quarterback. Sorry, Barry Sanders was running back, wasn't he? Yes. Yes. One of the greatest, the first you tell us. position group we're going to teach the you great. is the offensive line. Now, we're first going to start with the center, and the center is one of the most important positions as they will so deliver the ball to yep. the quarterback in order to start the play. The next position on the offensive line is the offensive guards, and there's two of them. And their job is to protect the quarterback and also move defensive players out of the way so the running back can run. And in this yeah. picture here, 64 and 70 are represented as the offensive guards. Me, yeah. <laughs> the last two remaining players Titans? on the offensive line are what we call offensive tackles. Oh, and they're gosh. demonstrated here <laughs> by the two outermost players. They are also responsible for protecting the quarterback in the pass as well as moving defenders for the run. Okay. That about wraps it up for the offensive linemen. If there is any questions, let us know in the comment section below and we can answer any questions about the offensive line. The next position in the position group is the running backs, which will be running the football after the ball is handed off from the quarterback. Mm -hmm. The running back will typically line up <clears throat> behind the quarterback about five yards behind them, or in the new spread offense, they'll line up next to the quarterback Either way, they're in distance of the quarterback. That way they can take a handoff and then run upfield successfully. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now that we've gone over offensive linemen and running back, let's transition to the wide receiver position. And this position will be catching the football and gaining positive yards after they catch it. There are two types of receivers that coaches use. One being the wide receiver, meaning it's the widest guy that can catch the football. Or in our example here, we're seeing a slot receiver labeled by the SR, meaning they're lined up in the slot position in between the widest guy and the offensive line. The final position is the quarterback position, who of course will be delivering the football to both the running back and the wide receiver positions. The quarterback is one of the most important positions on the field. They will take the snap from the center, either standing directly behind him, like we have in this picture here, or in a shotgun snap where he stands about four yards behind the center, getting the football, handing it to the running back, or throwing it to the wide receivers. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, yeah. So the, the shotgun stance there was wide receiver and quarterback side by side. Yeah. That's, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, all of that is pretty... When it's explained like that, it's very straightforward. Yeah, to be fair, I actually feel like, because obviously we've done quarterback, we've seen quite a lot of that, picked up <clears> on the back. videos, running back as yeah. well. So now to know that you've got the centre, guards, yeah. tacklers in the part of the offensive linesman, that is yep. useful to know. Wide receivers. Which Wide receivers, that's what Randy Moss played. We just recently watched um, a video on so, him yeah. about two days ago. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> so yeah, no, I think I've got that pretty yeah. nailed down. Yeah, we'll okay. see, pretty straightforward. That yeah, that's all for the offensive <laughs> positions. If there is any questions, please let us know in the comments below, and we're happy to answer those questions. Now, yeah, moving on to the defensive side of the football. There's three positions on the defensive side of the football. There's the defensive linemen, the linebackers, and the defensive backs. I feel like I know less the about first the position group uh, yeah. on defense. I think it's a less glamorous role, line. isn't it? And this is the position that lines up but really closest important. to the football, yeah. most likely with their hands on the ground, so ready to attack line. the offensive line and try to get to the quarterback or the running back with the football. Yeah, makes sense. The defensive line is typically quicker and bigger players that can disrupt the offensive line. The next position is the linebacker position. The linebacker position is exactly what it sounds like. They line up in back of the defensive line. And this position must be versatile because they need to be able to attack the run as well as play the pass. In this picture here, we're seeing the two guys that are in the middle of the defense are the linebackers. We've gone over both the defensive line and the linebackers. Now let's cover the last position, which is the defensive backs. Defensive backs are typically smaller, speedier players that are able to cover wide receivers. Defensive backs are broken up into two categories, corners and safeties. And in this picture we'll see here, the corners are the widest defensive backs and the safeties are the deepest players on the field. And that wraps up our position segment. Yeah, like you said, we're more we're more versed on the Off, uh, offensive offense, line than we yeah. are defensive. Um, defense. But yeah, even that seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, um, no, that was um, yeah. That, to be fair, that was good. Definitely picked up a few bits in there that I wasn't aware of. Uh, it's kind of filled in a few of the few, few of the blanks. I found when I was watching the Super Bowl that the only the main things I was a little bit confused with was positioning and also when the flags come in. I feel like quite a lot of people already understand what they're coming in for. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm literally waiting, like that, waiting <laughs> just to be told about it. Yeah. But yeah, definitely found that found that useful. One hundred percent. Yeah. Um. Hope you enjoyed us watching that. If you could please let us know in the comment section, a if you're actually enjoying these um, segments. I know it's very different to what your typical reactors do. Normally, it's all of the glam. You don't really get to see the behind the scenes of um, picking up the sport. Yeah. And if you do like it. Um, please let us know what you think's next. Uh, do you think we're ready for something yeah. more sophisticated now, or do you think that we're just clueless and we need to go back to basics, or do you think we're just clueless and <laughs> get, get out of our faces, you know? <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. It really helps grow the channel. Your support, as always, is hugely appreciated. Massively appreciated. Massively appreciated. And we'll see you on the next one.